Humans have five senses. We have sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. But did you know we actually have a sixth sense? Now, it's not anything cool like talking to ghosts or reading minds. It's something called proprioception, which is our sense of bodily awareness and movement. Hi friends, my name is Emily and I'm an educator here at Exploration Place. So all over our body, we have these things called proprioceptors. Sometimes we call them stretch receptors. And they're in places like muscles, tendons, and ligaments. And what they do is they gather information happening all around us all the time. And they send that information up to our brain. From there, our brain analyzes it and it tries to figure out what's going on. And once it figures that out, it tells us where we are and how we need to move our body, which sounds like a really long process, but it actually happens like that. And if we didn't do this process, we would literally have to think about every single step before we took it. So we are gonna do two experiments to test our sense of proprioception. And the cool thing is you don't need any materials. You just need yourself. So for this first experiment, Stand with your eyes closed and arms straight out like airplane wings. Take your right pointer finger and touch your nose. And bring it back out. And take your left pointer finger and touch your nose. How'd you do? Pretty easy, right? We're gonna go ahead and kick it up a notch. I'm gonna sit down for this so you can see my hands, but you can do this standing up. So stretch your hands way up to the ceiling like you're waving hello to the sky. And take the pointer finger of the hand you write with and reach down and touch your nose. Now this is where it gets tricky. Without looking, take your pointer finger and touch the thumb on your opposite hand. And go down and touch your nose again. And reach up and touch your opposite pointer finger. Back down to the nose. Up to the middle finger. Back down to the nose. All the way up to the ring finger. And one more back down to the nose. Up to the pinky finger. How'd you do? If you could do it, you can thank your sense of proprioception. You knew exactly where your nose was and where your fingers were without having to look. Now, if you weren't super great at it, that's totally fine. I was super bad in the beginning. Practice makes perfect. Thanks friends so much for exploring with me today and we'll see you again soon.